Hey, what is going on, people? Welcome to London. Today is an amazing day out. I'm going to be meeting up with Ping Combs, Master Chef winner and champion. You can say that, right? So she's got her own restaurant here now in Selfridges, just off Oxford Street. It's quite busy. The sun is out. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's a heavy bloody dog. So the first thing is, wow, this place is grand. Absolutely grand. Heading all the way to the top. Yes, guys, I finally caught up with, guess who? Bing! <laughs> How you doing? Uh, just caught me with more. I know, yeah, exactly. Refreshing. Oh, food's coming, food's coming. Oh my. So, what's this one? So, this is laksa. If I can just give you the food. This one. Yeah. Yes. So, underneath yes, here yes. is just lovely oh noodles. And uh, it's a creamy coconut broth um, with prawns and yeah. fish cakes and clams. It's just really creamy and spicy. There's clams in it. Oh clams. my life. Look at that. Clams in there. There are fish balls. There are... Where's the juicy prawn? The prawns in there. And is that a spicy dish? It is a spicy dish. Yeah. But it's a really nice spice. It's uh, not overwhelming. And yeah. this is the unsung hero of a laksa. So basically, is this is tofu puffs. Oh, okay, okay. And it's got all these sponge mm -hmm. in there. Mm. I call it my SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love SpongeBob. <laughs> and what it does no, is no. it's um it's soaked up all the nice juices in there yeah. and it's just delicious. Just be careful when you eat them because obviously it's quite hot. I can see where you SpongeBob and the spice. Whoa! It hit me in the neck. <laughs> you say you want a spicy lobby? That, that just took me out of the neck. Oh my mind. You weren't messing about. Nasi goreng for me is just a fried rice, right? Yeah. I make different versions at home. And for me, I guess, for me, it's kind of like everyday food. Mm. It's got... Yeah, I might be downplaying the importance of nasi goreng in someone's life because I've always had it. I grew up with it, you know? Mm. But I these, can say that... I am a virgin to this one, so sure it's okay. You try it. you try <laughs> let's it. baptize you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> let's, let's give this a rest. So it can smell and don't quite be shy. smoky. You know, kind of like have loads of it. Definitely. Ooh. You like spicy? You like spicy. <laughs> so it's got eggs, it's got uh, succulent corn, oh and you have to like really, really tuck in. Liam, you're missing out, man. <laughs> so, uh, I think he's in the meat. He's um, working on his new book. Painstaking process, isn't it? Just literally writing recipes and stuff like that. I mean, how do you even do it? How do you, how do you separate your time and plan it out? I cancelled every single event that I've <laughs> for three months. Every day, I test 10 recipes. I have a picture. At that time, I have a tiny kitchen. Yeah. And literally, it was just like a back bench. And I got my butchers to deliver all the meat. Oh, and nice. literally, it was a bench filled with meat all the way down the bench um, of just testing the meat section of it. Yeah. 
in hindsight, yeah. I should have done it meat veg, meat veg, because I decided that because I was testing it, I was having that for dinner. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. for a week, I was having just pure meat. <laughs> So this is chicken satay. Mm. This is um, Malaysia signature um, dish. Everybody knows the satay. Griddle first with smoky charcoal, yeah. and then served with a spicy peanut sauce. Mama is and the is that spicy? I <laughs> know. Oh, Jeez, man. That was in the comments as well. <laughs> Mama is a feeder. No, that's different. Never had a sauce like it. Never had a peanut sauce. You never had a peanut no. sauce. Really? Really? Oh wow. It's, it's like a savory really baptizing milkshake. Today. We are really, really baptizing you today. Never had anything like it. That is not oh my lord. Can I have a word with that? Yeah. <laughs> You've been baptized, you'll never look at a peanut sauce. I never got I didn't even know these things existed. Oh my really? Yeah. We are really giving you a tour of Malaysia and Asia today. Definitely. And you'll know a country through its food as well. Mm. These are all kind of like the dishes of Malaysia mm. that comes up. It's called crystal skin because it is crystally clear. It is beautiful um, to look at. And it is uh, tamago, uh, so uh, little fish eggs on top. Oh, little fish eggs. Uh I'm looking at it like uh, parsley. Mm -hmm. It pops in your mouth. My mate, look at my mate's chip. Chopsticks. Oh, chopsticks here. Oh, oh, oh. Can't get it. Can you use chopsticks? Can you call this? Um, busy day? Yeah, busy day. Yeah? Where are you sitting? Come here. Don't worry. <laughs> sit down. I am so sorry. You came just in time. Come on, sit down. Don't worry. Things been fattening me up, mum. This looks so good. She's, taking no for, she's not taking no for an answer. Wow, great! I love to your mouth. How good is that? It's like pure sensational goodness in and around your mouth. <laughs> it plays for you because they've already had it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, you look like you're very happy to hear that. <laughs> Feel free to double dip because it's yours. <laughs> Definitely gonna double dip. The roti. So good. Big, big thank you once again to Pink Coombs and the rest of the team. I had such an amazing time trying out all these incredible dishes that Malaysia has to offer. I really do feel like you've done them very, very proud and you can absolutely see why Ping has dominated the MasterChef kitchen and she, her empire continues to grow. Now, if you want to see any further restaurants in the UK, suggest below in the comment section and turn on post notification for up and coming videos. Much love, peeps.